Hey guys, so this is kind of one of those better late than never videos. I was asked, so you guys know that my old house was mostly hardwood floors. It was like the whole entire living room, the dining room, part of the kitchen, the hallway, the other hallway, like every, the entryway, like every space was hardwood floors except for the bedroom. There were carpets in the bedroom. And you guys asked a lot how I kept them clean and I never really did like a long video about it. And, or like a detailed video about it and I don't really know why I never did that but I never quite got around to it and I feel like it's one of those things that could be helpful to talk about just because at the time I had three dogs, two kids, I was kind of running a daycare, I had lots of kids in and out and it involved a lot of floor maintenance. I mean that floor was constantly, constantly dirty. So um, actually Bona reached out to me recently and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and they said hey will you you know, show and you guys will see here our products. Well, you know, I don't, I don't do reviews and I don't do videos on things that I don't personally love. And I did, I use their products all the time. We only have one space now that's actually hardwood in our house now. So in the video I borrowed my friend's hardwood because she had more for me to be able to demonstrate that didn't have furniture on it. So anyways, um, I only have a smaller space now, but I still do use the products. I love the products. Um, yeah. So anyways, I want to kind of talk about them and just share with you guys exactly how um, I would keep the clip, the big spaces clean, how I do keep our smaller space clean and everything else. So, um, fortunately they sent me a new product to show you because here is, here's my actual personal own really old and embarrassingly dirty, <laughs> um, floor cleaners. So fortunately I do have some nice clean products to show you and to demonstrate with today. We've got the Bona disposable dusting pads, the Bona microfiber floor mop, and the Bona hardwood floor cleaner. All of which I do have and I do use and I do love and we use them all the time in all sorts of different ways. So what I would do twice a day, every morning, and I don't know why I'd have to do it every morning, but every single morning I would go through and I would just dry, I would just dust the floor and just kind of pick up all the dog hair and the dust and the dirt and whatever kid project was being done, lots of like glitter and little pieces of paper, and I would do that. What's nice about these disposable ones, and you guys know I don't like to use a lot of disposable products, but when you do, what's nice about this, and you can't put this one in your, your washer, it could ruin your washer, so don't do that, but um, it gets really super duper fluffy, so it catches a lot of the fur and the dust and you know all of the little kid debris items and leaves like we had a lot of random leaves in the house granted it is fall right now so you're getting more and more leaves but just random stuff and it collects it all really well it's nice it's like 3d super duper fluffy you fluff it by running it back and forth and then you just you throw it on the swivel head and both of them both the microfiber cloth and the reusable one and the fluffy disposable one um stick really nicely to the back of the the adjustable swivel head you know the the actual handle <laughs> the one that you yeah, stick it to so you're able to clean it really easily and then as you can see you know you pick up tons and tons and tons of stuff so this is really nice to do just kind of on like a whim or do something really quick it's really fast to do it and then if you're gonna do the actual you know spray it down and really clean the floor so as you can see here there's some puppy some paw prints um, my friend saved her her floors for me to demonstrate for you guys after a little kid's birthday party so um, this is this is taking on party traffic <laughs> and three dog traffic and a whole bunch of other stuff so once every and then I would do it in the afternoon too or in the evening and then once about every to be honest, like three, four days, actually, I would actually do the spray and clean the floor, whether it be like the hand sprayer or the, the one that has the, you know, the actual sprayer in it. So I would use one or the other, but then that way you get a nice floor. You're not, you're not going to damage your floors. It's really easy to do. You can just rinse the microfiber pad often to prevent any streaking in the floor. I really have never had a problem with any streaking, but if you do, this is a great option for you. Um, I had really hard, light hardwood floors right now. They're kind of like mediocre. And then hers, as you can see here, you know, are really, really dark, but yeah, it dries really fast. It's, you know, the non-toxic, it doesn't, doesn't leave any weird smells. It doesn't leave smells for like excessive amount of days, which is really nice. It's fun. It's kind of fun to do. And my kids, most importantly, my kids can do it. And it's, safe for my kids to use it. My kids can, you know, mop with it. And then they like have like little mop dance parties in the kitchen, <laughs> little things. But hey, you know what? My floors get mopped and you know, they, they make a buck, which is pretty, it's a win-win for both of us. Um, I hope this helps you guys in one way or another. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any, if you guys had a hardwood, have any good hardwood floor tips, please leave them down below. And, um, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to hear them. I'm always looking for for more ways and more tips and more anything to keep our house a little bit, a little cleaner. It's always good to have a cleaner house, right? Like, I guess you can get too clean, but um, for me, there's always, there's always room for improvement, <laughs> so. 
Anyways, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.